This is the ninth year for the MDWFMP DU Youth Waterfowl Camp. It's a four-day experience that focuses on teaching youth about waterfowl hunting, but also lots of waterfowl ecology, uh, wetland management, um, waterfowl identification, and the importance of hunting for conservation. The Youth Waterfowl Hunting and Education Camp is geared toward educating youth who don't have a strong waterfowl hunting background or maybe no waterfowl hunting experience at all trying to educate them on both the biological side of waterfowl and wetland management and also exposing them to public lands and uh, areas that are open for them to enjoy the outdoors. Take them out, take them out. We do a lot of different things at camp. Most of the stuff that we do, we try to do in the field as much as possible. So we had the kids out before daylight yesterday morning at Yazoo National Wildlife Refuge. We took them to an observation tower and talked about uh, wetland management and wood duck boxes and that sort of thing. And then we took them into a flooded timber unit so that they could walk around in their waders and get some practice before we took them hunting this morning. And we talk about different kinds of habitat and what waterfowl use different habitats and why habitat management is, is so necessary. We get the kids out and uh, put on waders and actually walk in wetland habitat, look at different food items that waterfowl eat while they're here in Mississippi during the winter time, talk about wetland management, water control structures, and things that our staff actually do throughout the year to prepare waterfowl habitat for when they arrive here. This event is a cooperative effort between the Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries and Parks and Ducks Unlimited and is funded through a Youth Participation Initiative grant. Be, be aware of where your barrel is pointed at all times, right? We also have agencies like the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service who volunteer some staff and some time in the event and we have other nonprofit organizations and private organizations that dedicate time and staffing. The variety of things that they get exposed to at this camp is one of the great parts of it. Um, some of them love to learn uh, waterfowl identification. They didn't realize that there are so many different species of waterfowl and how to recognize them. And we've had several kids go through the camp that uh, kind of turn into bird watchers after the camp because they realize there are so many different species of birds and, and learn how to identify them. Lots of the kids enjoy the shooting aspect, learning to shoot skeet that we do uh, in preparation for the waterfowl hunt. We also had some of our hunter education staff there to do hands-on instruction for clay shooting. So kids who weren't necessarily experienced with shotgunning were able to get out and, and get comfortable with the gun to do a lot of practicing the day before the hunt. We have a kennel out of Oxford, Wild Rose Kennels, who comes and brings some of their uh, well-trained Labrador retrievers to put on a retriever demonstration and also to talk about the usefulness of retrievers in waterfowl hunting and how they actually help in conserving birds. On Saturday, during the statewide Youth Waterfowl Hunting Day, we take the kids out uh, on Muscadine Farms Wildlife Management Area and participate in a waterfowl hunt with staff who are there to chaperone the hunters during the hunt. Got a nice cool morning on this youth waterfowl hunt, early February, heading into uh, an old catfish pond that has some willows, should be uh, plenty of cover. We scouted it the last couple of days and had a good number of gadwall, a few mallards mixed in. So we're just going to get in here and look for some good open water to put some showy decoys in and see if we can get hidden and see what happens. Of course, we have a lot that really enjoy the hunt, the thrill of the hunt. We end up with a lot of kids that, whether they've gotten a duck or not on the hunt they just they get eat up with it they love it they love spending time in the blind and watching the sunrise and watching the ducks fly and and they just really have a good this time this won't boom boom 
We had, had scouted birds the previous two mornings uh, leading up to the hunt and had a good idea of where birds were using uh, different areas of the wildlife management area. Luckily we had enough staff to separate the kids out into multiple hunting groups so there were some who did have uh, quality shooting opportunities and I believe every camper did have the opportunity to shoot at a duck. So it was a successful morning altogether. I should have shot but I hesitated. All of the organizations involved have a vested interest in this because we, we all have the, the goal in mind and we all have the need of passing along our waterfowl hunting heritage. It's an incredible feeling to get out with a, a camper who maybe has not waterfowl hunted previously to see how they really enjoy and take it all in, whether it's being able to actually shoot at birds and harvest birds or just to, to see birds in action and see a dog work. Good eye. Even to walk in a wetland for the first time in waders, things like that that we take for granted a lot of times uh, as waterfowl hunters, but to see a kid experience that for the first time is a really special experience. The biggest reason that we do this is because there is a decline in hunter numbers across the United States. We don't set out to make these kids waterfowl hunters for the rest of their life. The big thing is for them to understand the importance of hunting for conservation. In North America, hunters pay for conservation and lots of people get to enjoy it. Bird watchers and kayakers and lots of other people enjoy the nature and the public lands that mostly is paid for from hunting licenses and fees and taxes on ammunition and that sort of thing. And so getting the kids to understand the importance of hunting is really the goal take, here. Take, take, take. People protect what they love and they love what they understand. And most of the time, the connections with things that we make as children, no matter what they are, are the connections that stay with us throughout our lives. So, so it's really important to get these kids out when they're old enough to understand, but they're, they're young enough to really make that, that heartstring connection with the outdoors. And that's, that's what we're trying for here. Every year since the first year, we have had kids come whose brothers or friends or sisters have come in previous years. So it's, it's a pretty good vote of confidence when we've had three or four kids from one family come year after year as they've applied and gotten old enough. Conservation of our natural resources, our water, our lands, our wildlife, is up to all of us that we all play a part. Whether these kids go on to be wildlife biologists or dentists, it's important to understand that investing in the natural resources of today makes sure that the next generation has them tomorrow. So we accept applications from kids aged 13 to 16 um, with the understanding that those that are 16 when they attend the camp cannot hunt waterfowl that day because it's a youth day only during the season. MDWFMP hosts the application online on their website um, the applications are usually available in November or December, and then there will be a January deadline. And um, it's a short essay question and some basic yes or no questions about where you're from and what school you go to and whether you've ever been hunting before or not. Once the application period closes, we look over the applications and make the selection. We can take 15 kids each year. We need one more to have two limits. Hey. Woohoo! He, he does roll up the camp again! <laughs> <laughs>